Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to re-ring pistons and how to properly clean out the grooves. So we'll get right into it. So piston rings are comprised of a couple of things. You've got the cap on the bottom that holds in the bearings inside of there. And as you can see, these ones are really dirty. You've got two nuts on the top of these bolts that run through. And this is the connecting rod. That's what comprises the connecting rod, is all those pieces. Then up here is you've got the piston on the piston. You've got a set of grooves here. Sometimes pistons can be different shaped. They can be concaved, domed, flat, or even a little bit of a concave like this. And that is to change the compression ratio in the engine. So that way, you know, for higher compression, that way you have to run a type of fuel that um, has to be more compressed in order to explode, um, among other things like that. If you have too little compression, then the engine can't ignite because there's not enough compression inside the compression chamber. So there are different types of piston heads. There are the standard aluminum forged pistons, which the metal is forged so it's more solid. And those are usually typically used in like racing applications where you're using, you know, higher compression ratios and stuff like that. So these rings here, you've got three of them, usually. This is off a of Chevy 305. So the first one is a compression ring. The second one is a compression ring. And the third one, let's see if it'll focus in, is uh, an oil ring. And what that's comprised of is three rings. And so I'm going to show you how to take these off now. So a lot of people will say that you have to have, you know, a special type of uh, tool to take these off, which I have that tool right here. Um, it's a piston ring tool installation tool, installer tool, um, removal tool, but you don't really need that to remove them. All you really need is a, a flat blade, a flat blade screwdriver. Get the ring opening around to you and just kind of push that off to the side like that without scoring the side and then I just kind of push it out and around so you can see the other portion of the ring the other side of it is kind of ringing around like that and then you've got your ring off and then just set it to the side you're not going to reuse these if you're going to pull the rings off for any reason you want to replace them all so like I said just pull that off just like that how I did that don't scratch the side and push it in like that and slowly rotate it around and it should just come out. You do not want to score or mar the sides of the piston here. That will mess with your compression ratio. It will allow oil to get up into your head and a bunch of things that you just don't want. You don't want to burn any oil or anything like that. And then for this one it's the same thing. So you've got, like I said, two rings on the outside and then the oil slinger ring on the inside. So what you're going to do is just kind of push this out until you get it. See that one's kind of done that. Hold it. You want to be careful when you do this. This isn't something you just want to rush through. I've done this a couple of times. So this is how you do it. Hold it so it's not going to mar, like I said, and just kind of work it around so it's not going to scrape anything to do with the compression. So there's that one. Take your other one, and then this middle ring, after you get that first one out, will want to move. See how that popped out of there for me already. So, I mean, if that pops out like that, then go ahead and uh, pull that right out. Just like that. And you've got it out of there. Just like that. And then you take out your other ring, which normally I take out both of these first. And then I take out that center ring, because then it just slides around. So there you go, all of them are out of there. We don't have any more rings inside of there. Now, what you want to do at this point, once you've got it all emptied out, is you want to take it to a machine shop and have them tank it. Or, what you can do is you can use one of these tools. And they're kind of a pain to get used to, but um, what this is, it's a piston ring cleaner tool or reamer or whatever. 
Um, and what it is is you've got a couple of dies here that you can choose from. And you want to take them, and I know it's this one because this is all I've been working on really lately. And you put it in there and match like that. And you want to make sure it's the right size, and then this one will be a different size. So that one there is for that one, and this one here is for this one. Okay. So we're going to put it back into the tool like that, line that up. And you can't see that, there you go. And then take the little nut and screw that into place all the way down. You're going to grab right here, push it all the way down. There's a little tab. And then you're going to slide this over into the first groove that you're going to be working on, like that. Slide this up into place, release it, like that. And then, and then you're going to turn it just like that. Go around once or twice just to get that groove all cleaned out in there. And there you go. So that's all on there. And for demonstration purposes I'm going to show you how to put these rings back on. So the first thing you do is you can take your first compression ring. Generally the first compression ring has a little symbol on it. Like you can see here there's a little dot right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to set your piston down you're going to get your installation tool and you're going to sandwich this installation tool in between like that. Then you're going to make sure that little dot is up because usually what that means is that one side is concave down to keep the oil down past the compression ring. And you're going to take it behind the back, squeeze it open. There you go. Now it's in there. Okay. Now when you put this in here with your new piston ring, you want to make sure that it moves around. That it doesn't get stuck anywhere. If it does, then you need to take it out, get your reamer tool, and ream it again. Make sure you get that all out of there. And the same thing with the next one and the next one. Now, when you get down to the oil rings, what you're going to do is you're going to take your oil slinger, okay, and you're going to put that on first. Oh, one more thing too. So when you put these on, these, these compression rings, one goes this way and the other opening goes down. So it's like, so it's like that, like the dolis and gabana. Okay, and so that way there's, there's no leaks in your compression. So one goes on that way, the top one goes on that way, and the next one move it around like that before you compress it and put it into the engine. Anyways, back to what we were saying about the oil slinger. So go ahead and wrap that around and then you're just gonna do this all by hand you're not gonna use a tool for this just be really careful like I said don't mar or score scratch or anything like that and you're just gonna slide that right slide that right into there and then wrap it around and slide the other end right in there like that slide up the bottom see back here got a little bit crooked and push that one in there. And you want to do the same thing with these ones too. So one on this side and then put the other opening down on the other side like that. So one right here and one back here. And there you go. So if you like what you saw, come back and hang out with me and Tiny Rick. And subscribe. That's right. <clears throat> subscribe right now. Do it. Subscribe or I'll come after you.